Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from uh, Indian Trail, uh, North Carolina, just outside of Charlotte, in um, near Monroe. And I am at a business, an undisclosed area, uh, at a subscriber's place of business uh, that um, is allowing me to camp here tonight. And he's also going to try and assist me tomorrow with my trailer hitch, my weight distribution hitch. Uh, him and one of his employees is bringing in a breaker bar and we're going to attempt if not i'll go to u-haul or a tire place and we'll get it uh, straightened out i want to get that um i'll show you right here i want to get this uh lifted up uh to these holes here i want to come up to this hole i think because the camper is sloping down the front now i took a shower earlier and uh, water is coming out of my tub down to the floor. So we can't have that. <laughs> anyway, we're waiting for them to pick us up and we're all gonna go to dinner and guess what we're gonna have? Tammy's favorite, barbecue. And it's gonna be, um, oh, I forgot the name of the place. You remember the name of it? Uh, yeah, I, I can't think of it. We'll, we'll video when we get there and uh, it's Ben and Sherry and they're very, very nice people. In fact, uh, listen to this. I'm camping here. We went to lunch today. We're going to their lake house tomorrow after we get through fiddling with my, um, my hitch and get out of his hair. He's got a business to run. He's invited us to go uh, to a place in Albemarle um, on a lake in uh, North Carolina and stay as long as we want. But we're only going to stay a night, maybe two, uh, because we're going to meet other friends of mine that actually live right here in Monroe. My friend Chris and his um, wife, Christy. And he also is what inspired me to buy a wolf pup. He had a wolf pup uh, toy hauler. And then he bought another uh, camper recently. It's a little bit longer. Uh, and they have a place that they like to get. Uh, they pay uh, monthly up in the mountains and uh, we're gonna meet him up there if there's a spot for me. If not, we'll find a place close by and he's gonna be up there Friday through Monday. So look forward to meeting Chris and Christy on the channel. I've had them on before uh, when they came down to Florida to visit me. They've been friends of mine for a long time. But uh, we're gonna meet Ben and Sherry. They're gonna pick us up momentarily and we're gonna go get some barbecue. It is beautiful out here tonight in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's just call it Charlotte because that's the metropolitan area that we're at. The trees, the scenery, the people, uh, everything. So anyway, guys, we'll get some more links for you later. The Crusher's doing fine. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the transmission cooler. I may look into getting that when I get back to Florida. A lot of people are telling me and explaining what the uh, um, tow haul is about. I don't think I need it. Maybe when I get to the mountains, I'll use it. But right now, I can't get this truck to get less on the computer than 12.1 miles per gallon. That's over a 20% increase. I got my uh, drill back here, uh, left in the back, uh, increase in my gas mileage. I can't tell you how exciting that is. If I ever thought 12 miles per gallon uh, was a lot or $3 a gallon for gas, I paid $2.99 the other day, $2.99, $3.07 this morning. So a lot of good things. I am using my little fold down thing. Check it out. I folded it down and I ended up putting a lot of stuff as I talked about this morning at uh, Cracker Barrel. Uh, a lot of stuff in there. It's too heavy to lift up over the uh, truck. And as you know, my tailgate won't go down all the way because of the, uh, the jack, the tongue jack there. And so I'm not going to break my back. So I said, hey, I got a thing right there. I'll put it on right there. Also, for those that made comments about <clears throat> the generator, this ain't my first rodeo, folks. I know about common decency. I got couth, okay? The only people at that Cracker Barrel last night was me and Tammy, and then those three guys that slept inside their cars, of whom I got acquainted with, very nice gentlemen, and actually walked over and asked them if they wouldn't mind because I had a very quiet generator. I even turned the truck around, as you saw the uh, direction it was, uh, where the, uh, you couldn't even hear it. You couldn't, you can't hear it anyway. You know, I got a quiet generator, but it's also parking in the back. 
So the place was closed. Nobody else was there. And the three guys said they never even heard it last night. I saw them this morning when I said goodbye to them. But yeah, I got couth. I understand about curfews and generators and racket. I don't want to hear it. So absolutely. But um, that was not a problem. And as far as leaving chairs out and stuff like that, that, was, that wasn't an issue. Those guys left their chairs out too and slept in their car. They had actually uh, RV uh, bus parking spots in the very back. It was so away from the front door and everything, it wasn't even a question. And it was right next to my camper. Uh, I probably could have put them away, but I had kind of trying to get everything going last night with the generator and it's been nonstop trying to get organized and get everything together. I still want to get this trailer hitch thing going. Uh, we're try driving all the time. It's just, it's fun. It, it's, it's busy. It's not in any way bad at all. I'm, don't get the wrong idea. I love it. I absolutely love all of this. And Tammy's loving it too. She's had some reservations like, okay, what are you doing? How are you doing this? Uh, you know, are we going to have air conditioning? Uh, what do you need to do to this jack? Uh, what's the story? <laughs> you know, she's not, she's just a Sheila. She's pure female. And that's why I love her. So anyway, yeah, and she's doing good, by the way. We always thank you so much for your comments. I was reading them tonight, as I just got through mentioning, about the comments at the Cracker Barrel, about the cooler, um, of the transmission. You're also kind compliments about me personally, about the young lady at Slim Pickens. So... Life is good, and we haven't even just, we've just begun. And what is it, the um, 4th of uh, October? And we've got all month to be out here. And our travels don't need to go any further than the Carolina mountains. And um, actually, the mountains where I'm going to possibly meet Chris and Christy, uh, I got some reservations about pulling this through those switchbacks. There's some pretty tight, twisty roads. Uh, but it's not a really long, long camper, so I think we can do it. I backed it in all the way from way back there. I'm a really good driver. <laughs> Remember Rain Man? And I backed it in here. I'll show you. He, um, we don't have a water hose hooked up, but I went and got uh, water on a with a five-gallon um, plastic jug that I have. I bought at Walmart like four years ago. I still have it. I finally got to use it. See? It came in handy. But I'm plugged in right here. Uh, to his wall. I'm using my pigtail pig for the uh, 120 volt, uh, 15 amp, and I'm running right on down. My 50 footer came in handy that I just bought. And of course now without the generator going, no noise, of course it would be no problem. There's nobody here. Um, we're plugged in and uh, the AC and everything that we need just comes right on with no problem. This little thing has really come in handy. Let me lock that up. Oh, what? That ain't going nowhere. Oh, I didn't lock that one either. Darn it. And they're so tight. I don't want to leave that like that. Ugh, I can't get it. Well. Maybe when I close the camera off, I will. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to crush it all night. We'll be talking to you in the next clip. Well, by the way, today at uh, Walmart, I bought I another like pack of these orange uh, stackable things. And you can also use them to put them under your tires uh, if you're uneven this way. So I have, they come 10 in a pack. I now have 20 of those. And I'm using um, four on each jack now. So I don't even have to roll the jack down as far. And these don't have to come down far at all anyway because this camper is so low. And I definitely want to get that, that put up. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I think my friends are on their way. All right, guys, we're back. I told you that Ben and Sherry are coming. This is Ben and Sherry right here. Hey, guys. Say hi to everybody. Hi. And uh, this is their beautiful red Cadillac. We're getting ready to go to dinner. <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to... Uh, I Smoke think pit. Smoke pit? Smoke yeah. pit in Monroe, North Carolina. Oh, yeah. okay. Delicious. So we're, we can't wait to go. We're going to enjoy it. And uh, we really appreciate Ben and Sherry hosting Tammy and I here. And when we get over there, we'll make a review of the barbecue, make sure Tammy will tell you if it's any good or not. Tammy's a connoisseur of barbecue. Mm. But um, we really appreciate it. And uh, we'll get back to you in the next clip. All right, everybody, we're here right off the 74. 
in the uh, Monroe, Charlotte area. There it is, it's the Smoke Pit Restaurant. This is what the building looks like. It's a fine looking establishment. So we're just gonna go in here and try some barbecue. Okay, everybody, we're inside here and we're trying to decide on the menu. And there's lots of choices. I think we've all uh, uh, kind of made our decisions. And when they come, we're gonna show you what we get. It looks really good. We got Ben and Sherry right here with us. And our waitress, her, her name is Emily, right? Emily. Emily. And she's a real sweet girl. We'll introduce her in a little bit. So stick around. Okay, everybody, we're back here at the Smoke Pit Barbecue Place in Monroe, North Carolina. I've got Miss Emily here, who is our waitress. We ordered some of the best food you've ever seen in your life. And I'm gonna have Miss Emily uh, who's been working here in what? About a few weeks now, right? Yeah, just a few weeks. Okay. She's really sweet. If you ever come to the uh, smoke pit, make sure you see her. Thank you. But I would like her to explain what we're having for dinner tonight because this is the best looking food yeah. that we've uh, ordered in a while. So I'm going to turn the video around. And as I point it, if you can explain to the YouTube crowd out there, my community, of what we're eating here okay. in uh, the Monroe uh, North Carolina area. So here we go. Let me turn this camera around. All right, All right Miss Emily, beginning here. What am I having? So here we got the burnt ends, which is the fatty ends of the brisket. We got a sweet potato casserole, fried okra, and he wanted it a little extra crispy. Yes. We got a little, the cornbread, and then it's like a sweet cornbread, and then we always garnish our plates with a little bit of pickle and onions. Looks delicious. What did Miss Tammy Moving get? Moving on, we got the barbecue sandwich. Comes with pickles and the sweet sauce on there. Show us that barbecue, Miss Tammy. It's pulled mm. pork. Oh, yeah. Oh, All yeah. All right. Then we got the barbecue slaw, and the, which is a vinegar-based vinegar slaw. Mm -hmm. Then we got the hush puppies, and then the side of pickles and onions. Mm -hmm. All right. And Miss Sherry got something looking good here, too. We got the Texas brisket. We wanted to mix up lean and fatty. And then we got the collard greens, which got a little kick to them. Not going to blow your ears off, but it's there. Mm, sounds good. <laughs> got the barbecue <laughs> slaw. And then the cornbread again, and of course our garnish with the pickles and onions. Mm. And Mr. Ben here, he ordered, he said he's going big tonight. <laughs> All righty, so Ben has the choice of three meats. He's got the pulled pork, the Texas brisket, again, half and half, a little bit of fatty, a little bit of lean. He's got our dry rubbed smoked ribs with barbecue baked beans fried okra as well and our side of the day cheesy mash wow. and we also got those hush puppies and of course the garnish mr ben said that he's going to be taking some of that home he's going to have it breakfast and lunch tomorrow so we're getting ready to enjoy and i'm going to turn the camera around one more time and say goodbye to you all right so uh, i'm back here with miss emily wasn't that a great description isn't that a great looking meal we're getting ready to have i got to get at it before it gets cold but right now miss emily and i we have to crush, crush it, it. Hey everyone, this is called the Extra. The management was so impressed with uh, how much we love the food here. He came over and introduced himself. He just dropped off, look at this. Two, are they both the same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two huge peach cobbler, peach oh, they're, cobbler they're with ice cream. Mm -hmm. Just look at that. We got two mm -hmm. of them here. And so Tammy and I are gonna share this one. Ben and Sherry are gonna share that one. We are certainly crushing it.